everyone, this is Anandita Paulus and in today's video I want to talk about Reiki attunements and specifically about whether or not it is possible for someone to be attuned to a negative energy or negative symbol in a Reiki attunement. In fact, this is a question that I got recently asked in the comments in one of my YouTube videos and I thought it would be great to make a video out of it because I'm sure if one person asked, it might be on a lot of people's minds. So if this is something that has been on your mind, that has maybe prevented you from taking a step forwards in the direction of Reiki, then you might find this video useful. So in the past, I have spoken about what Reiki attunements are. And just to recap a little bit, if you haven't seen my previous videos on Reiki attunement, then you can always check out my Reiki playlist right here and the link is also in the description below. So in this video I primarily want to focus on whether or not it is possible to attune someone to a negative symbol or negative energy during a Reiki attunement. But before that I would just like to give a little bit brief explanation of what a Reiki attunement is for my viewers who might not know what it is because some people who have never learned Reiki they think that a Reiki session and a Reiki attunement are the same thing or they might not even know what an attunement is. So an attunement is a process whereby the Reiki master transfers this energy surcharge of high vibrational energy to the Reiki student. And it is a ritual which is performed for every level. And at every consecutive level, the energy that is, trans that is transferred from the teacher to the student gradually increases. And this is something very unique to the study of Reiki. I haven't come across any other healing modality where such a ritual is performed, although the attunement happens in many different ways. And I speak about that in greater detail in another video of mine, and you can watch that video right here. So what basically happens in a Reiki attunement is that Reiki master opens up your energy field, so to speak, and places certain Reiki symbols. And I have already spoken about what Reiki symbols are, what purpose do they serve, if you have not watched my previous video on Reiki symbols, you can always go and watch it over here. So I'll not repeat that in this video again, just to keep this video short and to the point. So these Reiki symbols, they have a, their own unique intentions and energetic vibrations. And based on which level attunement you are receiving, the Reiki symbols are used accordingly. So one of the questions that I got asked is, is it possible to attune a person to a negative symbol? Again, the answer, the short answer to that would be yes, because there are 8 billion people on this planet. Can I personally guarantee that each and every of the Reiki masters out there, they are, you know, they have their intention to be the highest and best good for everybody concerned, even though that is one of the main Reiki principles and that is what Reiki talks about, highest to always come from the place of highest and best good for every person concerned. But can I guarantee personally that that is what is being done? Well, I wouldn't take personal guarantees on myself because there are 8 billion people on the planet and I don't know them personally. But this is what I can talk about. If such a question is coming to your mind and if such a thing has been your personal experience, then I would say take personal responsibility for your energy, where you are energetically, because the world is a reflection of you. The world is literally a mirror for your inner world. There is no world outside of yourself. So if you are coming across such people who have bad intentions towards you, then there is something that definitely needs to change internally, not externally. So work on your internal belief systems, work on maintaining your energy level high so that you consistently meet people at that high level of energy who have good intentions towards you. And this is not about putting the blame on you. It is about taking personal responsibility. It's not about playing some kind of silly blame game that, you know, self-criticism, you know, self-blame. That is not what I believe in. But I definitely believe in personal responsibility. Because if you don't take personal responsibility for every single thing that you are experiencing in your life, what is the other option that you have? The other option is to be a victim. That life is happening to you and not for you. And I don't like playing the victim game. And it's not only a matter of whether I like playing the victim game or not, but 
I don't believe that any one of us are victims in the true sense. But I would keep that as a separate topic of discussion for another video. Uh, but that was just my thought that I personally prefer not being a victim and taking personal responsibility. If there is anything about an experience that I don't like, I like to look within and see what it is that I need to change internally so that my reaction and my response to the outside world changes. And when that happens, then automatically the outside world sometimes changes too. So that is one angle that I want to put forward, something to think about. And the second thing that I would want to talk about is this, that if anybody who is a Reiki practitioner, Reiki teacher, master teacher, they are doing something negatively with Reiki energy, I believe that they don't even know what they are doing. I, don't, I believe that they don't even understand what energy really is and how it works. Maybe they are not really Reiki teachers or practitioners. Maybe they are just pretending to be Reiki teachers and practitioners. Because anybody who understands how energy works, scientifically speaking, they would not mess with negative energies. And here is the reason why. Playing with negative energy in the sense that using negative energy in a Reiki session or trying to attune someone during a Reiki session using a negative symbol would only impact the Reiki practitioner first and foremost and the most. If it would have any impact at all on the recipient, that would depend on the recipient's vibrational level, where they are energetically. But I can assure you this, that the person who is messing around with the negative energies, they are the ones who will be impacted the most. Because energy, whether it is negative or positive, your body, it is the vessel that is carrying that energy. And that is one of the dominant principles in Reiki too, that in Reiki, the Reiki practitioners and the Reiki master, they are really a channel for, or a vessel, their body, they use it as a channel or a vessel through which this energy is transmitted. What that means is if I'm holding negative energy in this channel, in this vessel, guess who is going to be harmed first? The person holding it. It's like any other negative energy, let's say anger. When I'm, let's say I'm extremely angry at you for whatever reason, but who's the one who's being impacted the most when I am angry? Obviously me, because there is a good chance that you might not even know that I'm mad at you. And even if you do know, there's a chance that it doesn't bother you much. There's a chance that maybe it does bother you, but not as much as it bothers me. So if I'm angry, or if I'm upset with you, if I'm grieving about something, whatever negative energy might, it might be, it is a vessel that holds that energy that gets impacted the most. So negative energy is literally like this poison that erodes its container first and foremost. And in terms of physics, the physics of negative and positive energy is such that negative energy is not creative in nature. It is positive energy that is outgoing and creative and expansive in nature. And it is negative energy that is destructive in nature. So it is difficult to create using negative energy. So if I'm trying to create a negative circumstance in my Reiki session, let's say, for the recipient, by using negative energies, it's not possible that I will be able to create something using destructive energies because by its very nature, the energy is destructive in nature. Now, I'm not saying I, I cannot take a 100% guarantee that that is not possible, because as we all very well know, that even though negative energy is destructive in nature, but even with that destructive energy, a lot of destruction has been caused by mankind on this planet. So I'm not saying that destruction cannot be caused. Of course, destruction can be caused. What I am saying is this, that positive energy is much more powerful in nature and ultimately that energy is something that that is winning all the time because even after all the destruction that humans have been able to create over the centuries if you really look deep the planet is still thriving there is a lot of well-being on the planet in spite of all the negativity in spite of all the destruction that humans have managed to create so in my opinion, anyone in their right mind who really understands the nature of energy, they would not try to manipulate this energy and play with this energy in any way that would be harming the recipient 
because they understand that their bodies are the vessel for this negative energy and it is like this poison that erodes the container itself so they would not be holding that poison in themselves because they won't be able to create anything for anybody else i won't say they won't be able to but that's going to take much more effort more effort than just one person it's like i again like to talk about this book called power versus force and i have spoken about this book many times in many different videos of mine on this very channel and i like to talk about that even in my reiki programs and workshops the reason being because this book just makes it so clear that how much more work needs to be done when a person is vibrating at lower levels of energy like grief greed or anger any of the lower vibration energy level they just need to put in much more work in their life to to make anything happen to get any work done on the other hand the higher up on the scale of consciousness you can google that up what is the scale of consciousness by dr david hawkins and you will find so as you move higher up in that hierarchy in the scale of consciousness you gain power that's why this book is called power versus force when you are primarily in the negative side of the scale that is when you have to use a lot of force in you know in every aspect of life to make things happen and that's why often people who use negative energy they have to use force coercion brutality those are the hallmarks of negative energy because they have to because they don't have that kind of influence or power in their life or over other people's lives because they are coming from such a weak energy so to speak it's a destructive energy it is not creative energy so using that negative energy when they are trying to do something out in the world they just need to use force it's not easy yet destruction can be caused obviously we you know as a civilization we have been able to create a lot of destruction it can be caused but it does require much more effort much more work much more force on the other hand the more you move from the lower energy levels to higher levels of energy you have much more power in your own life over your environment and now things just start falling into place for you the universe literally backs you up it's as if the more you move higher up in the energetic level the more you get in sync with the whole of the universe with divine intention so to speak and when that happens then life just gets easier it's not that challenges don't show up but you just know exactly how to deal with them and there's just less and less resistance and obstacles and struggles in life so definitely i would suggest that you read the book power versus force to understand at a deeper level what i'm talking about here So the other two things that I would like for my viewers to keep in mind first of all taking charge of your own energy level and secondly understanding that if you try to use negative energy to create negative reality for somebody else the person you hurt the most is yourself so with that in mind now if you are wondering that what if I do come across someone with a negative intention for myself how do I protect myself so that is something that I already spoke about in a previous video and if it is something you are interested in watching then you can watch that video right here so i hope today's video was helpful in clarifying some of these misconceptions around reiki attunement and also the whole idea of getting attuned to a negative energy or a negative symbol if you have any further questions feel free to reach out to me if reiki is something that you have been interested in learning then i would highly recommend that you check out the link in the description below and if you haven't already then subscribe to my channel if you liked this video then like it share it with your friends and family who might find it helpful as well i will talk to you soon bye for now